Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. It is Tuesday morning. Uh, I gotta get out the door, so let's go over what has sold. I'll go item by item here. First one here is a David Bowie LP from uh, 1983. And this one sold for $10.99 plus uh, shipping. Should have a medium L, but for whatever reason, it was, he, he paid a total of $10 in shipping, so that's have to check that and then let me pull the next item all right next item that sold was this nintendo 64. it was tested working missing the jumper uh, pack or cover and missing the power uh, brick just come with the av cable and for this we got 39.99 plus shipping and buyer is 5391 all in. This is my old N64. So this one will not be reported for taxes as I am taking a loss. I bought that retail. And then the David Bowie LP we got at the bins. And the David Bowie was 50 cents at the bins. Alright, let's uh let's pull some more orders. I actually have two that are packed up. Let me let me grab those real quick. Kratos, 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 Keys to White Whisker, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna? Okay, so, um, two items that are already packed here. One of them is Barappa the Rapper for PlayStation 1, and I'll put up a picture on the screen uh, so you can see what it is. It's just a loose disc, and... I believe we got $24.99 for that. It's on the second account. Give me just a second, I'll tell you. And it was $19.99 plus shipping um, for that disc. So that was good. And then inside of this package is the tarot card. And that was... Uh, it's actually not a tarot card. I believe it's a book about reading tarot cards. And I'll put a picture up on the screen about that one as well. It was $11.99 plus medium mail shipping for that. I have three more items to pull. Um, we did have a poster sell. However, the buyer messaged us and needed to cancel. So he'll, he'll buy at a later date. He didn't have the funds yet. Um, so we'll show you that poster when it does officially sell, but we'll show you the three other items that we got to get packed up. We'll be right back. All right, next item that sold is this Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear. And she comes with her dress. We got a total of $12.99 plus about $12 in shipping. And... She sold via promoted listings, so you take off another 1% for uh, eBay fees. And if you guys aren't familiar, promoted listings really just put your item um, in the little corners, like where you see the sponsored tag on the search results. Your listing will be one of those sponsored items. And depending on your percentage of promotion, you'll get preference on what spot of the sponsored um position on the page you are so i always like to promote listings that have multiple posts uh to get mine visible and i only promote it like one or 1.1 percent and i only do that just to put myself above everybody else so anybody who does one percent i'm now above them that's why i do 1.1 and it's not much to make uh a lot more sales you know especially at the profit margin we're getting so i've got uh still the two other items to pull so let me go get those and uh tell you guys about them you're with me for the next one it's down here in c5 which is cubby five and it goes one two three four five so come down here and we're gonna look for these figurines i think they might be in here what is this no those are some mcdonald skylanders and those are definitely not it. And that looks 
like a gaming system of some sort. There's a buffet back here. And there, I think I found them. Or not. What is this? These look like pest dispensers. Okay, then. Anything back here? Not it either. And that is a Millennium Falcon, so that's definitely not it. And there's nothing back there. So somebody made a big mistake in listing this there. Well, I see where they are. They're definitely not. In... So here it is. It was not in C5, so just Miss Catalog. It was actually up here in C2. The bolo for you is this Tiana cake figures. Let me get inside and I'll pull them out and show you. Well, yeah, generally your Disney cake toppers are not going to be very valuable. When you get a set, you can you can move them because obviously people are looking for Aladdin or Little Mermaid, or, whoop, Cinderella, or what have you, for their children's birthday parties. Now, Tiana, Princess and the Frog, is actually quite hard to come around, come across. These are the figures that we sold, and we sold them for $29.99 plus shipping. That's it. We did have a Tiana, however, she had a broken arm. And I might just include the Tiana as a bonus. Because I'm not going to do anything with her. And if they don't want to use her, they can just toss her. But if they want to use her, great. They can include her and no extra cost. But yeah, $30 for these six kick toppers. And two of these characters don't even have names, these frogs. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Just keep an eye out, guys. And uh, we'll move on to the last item as soon as I find out where it's at. Some of you have been asking about... Uh, show you a little bit about shipping or how i package and and ship items so all i did with generally with a plush i'm just going to throw it into a poly bag this is a poly bag right here and ship it however any any plush that have hard eyes hard buttons that i don't want to risk breaking in shipment i will throw a layer of bubble wrap over and then slide it into the poly bag very simple with plush uh, I'll pack up the 64 and show you how to do that as well, or how I do it. I should never say how to do that. I'm not an expert. Uh-oh. I'm not an expert at any of this. I'm just sharing my little bit of experience. I'm learning as I go myself. And some of these procedures that I follow might change in the future. But for now, this is how I do things. So then I take her, and I'm just going to slide her in the poly bag here. I don't know if you guys can see from that angle. Let me set you up here on 64. Like I said, our, our shipping station is actually going to get moved to this corner here. And with that, the color bags come with their own seal. And as Karina told you in our last video, you want to label what it is packed in here, just in case we might get another plush cell that's going to be this size and we won't know. Right. So I'll put H, K. Right, and then you can just put the sticker over it. There you go, you put your label right on top. That's it, that's Hello Kitty's done. So I was going to pack these, but I said I wanted to include Tiana as a bonus for them. <laughs> so I need to go grab her. I need to find the wig, and we have to pack these. Okay, final item of sold is this wig, and let me get the phone. The wig sold for $9.99 plus uh, first class shipping, and that was, I believe, everything. It was just over 300 gross with the poster. But the poster was canceled, so I, the poster was $100.
take off a hundred. We're left with about two hundred dollars gross in uh, eBay sales. We did have a couple local sales, um, but yeah, pretty good day. Not not bad considering it, it, it. It's generally slow right after the holidays as people are waiting for that first paycheck uh, to go spending again after they've expended all of their extra income over the holidays. Uh, Karina's grabbing tea on us so we can wrap that. The wig is going to be very simple. Um, I really don't have to do anything with this. I'm just going to throw it in a poly bag. So, got our poly bags here. We use two different sizes mainly. However, with our eBay um, quarterly coupon, and if you guys don't know about that, if you have an eBay store, at least a basic store, you will have a coupon that you can use every quarter to buy eBay shipping supplies. And with the um, Premier Store, which is the 1,500 listings, 1,000 regular 500 auction, you get a $50 coupon. We like to use that for the, uh, for the eBay poly mailer bags. They're pretty good. Anyway, otherwise, we buy these. And we'll put links down below uh, to all these poly bags and stuff. It's just going to go in here like this. These are going to get wrapped up and go in here. 64, I'll do it in just a second. So let's just slide this in here and we'll wrap her up. And I should, uh, should have this time lapse thing down. I ruined a couple of videos to mess with it and not make any back up like a fool. But I, I should have it better. Um, for you guys, and maybe you won't even hear me rambling over this. So that's it, I slide it in, fold it over, that's it, that's all she wrote. Here is Tiana, Miss Amputee. Yes, Tiana, the broken Tiana. So let me show you her. <laughs> this is why we didn't include her. She had a broken hand, or arm I should say, it's all the way up. But I'm going to include her because, I mean, she's the star of the show, right? I'm going to include her only because, I mean, they paid $30, right? So I'll send a message to the buyer and let her know that I'm sending her a bonus Tiana. No extra charge. I just let her know that it wasn't initially included because of the broken arm. And she's more than welcome to just discard it. So, um, let's wrap those up real quick. This is going to be nice and easy. Take our bubble wrap. Here, so you can see what's going on. I'll just lay it down so the bubble side is facing up. I'm give it the best cushion. And I will start wrapping them up, making sure that they do not touch each other so they don't scuff and break in shipping. Give them a little bit of space in between. Put her in there. He's going to be a big one. Probably do him last. Do these two together here. I don't know if you guys are even able to see that. Sorry. I'm just rolling them up like this. Thanks, Karina. Hey. And then I'm going to include the big guy over himself over here. And that is pretty much it. And this is going to go into the poly mailer. All right, so the figurines are all wrapped up here. And into the poly mailer they go. <laughs> Never have a problem like that, ever. I know, it's only because you're on camera. So there you go. All right, Tiana on there. If I find the marker that was just on the table, there it is, <laughs> underneath the chest set. <laughs> All right, let's do the 64. All right, with these kind of, any kind of console or receiver or VCR or whatever, what I like to do is I like to wrap it once uh, vertical and once horizontal. Okay, so I'll put it on the bubble wrap far enough, place the bubble wrap over. 
And now's the time you also want to check to see if you need to clean it or um, if there's any stickers that you need to take off that you forgot. So I'll make sure that that's the length of the bubble wrap there and then I'll flip it over one, one more time. And I will cut right here. Should have the scissors on the table, but yeah. Going to get scissors, guys. Going to get the scissors. Come with me. Come so there with you me. have it. That's once. And I'll do it again and I'll. From the, the other, other side, way. yeah. That'll give it good protection, good cushioning, plus whatever we're going to void fill in there. Flip it over again. And we're going to cut right here. Thank you, Corrine. Mm -hmm. And if you guys ever do have the opportunity, Matt over at Part Time Pickers was able to pick up an industrial heat sealer and he's able to make his own padded flat rate envelopes just as bubble wrap because he seals the bubble wrap. So if you guys can do that, it looks a lot more professional. You can, you can separate items a lot easier inside of the bubble wrap. So that was it. This is going to pretty much go in with any kind of void fill I can. This is the only cable that I'm including with this system. So this is just going to get wrapped up. And what I like to do is I'll put it between my thumb and forefinger and I'll wrap it around loosely. I don't do it tight. I just go around and around and around. So I have a loop. I can slide it off just like that. And if you have those little sandwich ties, those work perfect to, to kind of hold them together too. Yeah, little twist ties. Go to the grocery store, pick those up. They're absolutely free. We mm -hmm. have a ton lying around. So I'm going to get that or a rubber band, secure this. And then I will throw a wrap, a bubble wrap around this, and they're going to go into a box, and we'll show you that in a second. So I've got a rubber band here. I like to put it right around the actual plug and wrap it around again. And that should keep it from unwinding. And now I'm going to throw a bubble wrap over that on, on top of it, and that's going to keep it secure and protect it from cracking or hitting the sides of the box. And you don't need a lot for this one. Yep, it's just that. That's all you need. And I'm going to tuck in the corners and give it one strip of tape. And that's going to do it for the 64, which mm -hmm. leaves just the Bowie single. Or not saying I don't know if it's a single. The LP. And just like that. Boom. Now we got to find a box that fits it perfectly and fill it with just scrap uh, that we have to keep collected and we'll be right back. So we found these air pockets which come in a lot of our orders so we just keep them we use them and it's a good sized box very much very well protected. Right. Extra layer there. Void fill it with bubble wrap top and bottom. Mm -hmm. We okay. need to buy some void fill and not stop using bubble wrap though. Yeah. There's and void fill paper out there. Yeah. And it's actually rather We've cheap. We've used quite a bit of it with what we had already. But so. with electronics, you don't really want it to move around. Kind of like a fragile item. That's, that's all she wrote. All the tiny little pins and things. Perfect. And, and, oh, and 64. <laughs> Done. 
Now we have one more, and Sapir pretty much found a box. We just got to need to bubble wrap it a little bit for some padded protection. But he, we actually found the perfect box for it. So. <laughs> yep, the LP goes right in there. Yeah, please don't smush your records between two boxes. I know that <laughs> if that's all you have, that's all you have. But it better be really well protected because I've seen them bend those packages even when you put don't bend on them. All right. So I'll pack this up. And that's it. So hopefully we helped you a little bit today. Yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, please never forget. Yes, don't. And then don't forget about the affiliate links, guys. Again, you don't have to buy what's on there. It's completely private. Just use our video to get to the website and shop away. I like how you're filming me while talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>